Epic Games' Fortnite was first released in 2017, but it truly took the world by storm in 2018 with its Battle Royale mode. According to an Epic Games blog post, there were nearly 80 million people playing Fortnite just last August. For the three people out there who still think I'm talking about the span of 14 days, an actual Fortnite, every game begins the same. You and up to 99 other real people are loaded into a magic school bus of sorts soaring through the sky above this massive battleground island. From there, it's up to you where and when you literally jump out of the bus like a crazed adrenaline junkie. You and everyone else effortlessly float down towards the bustling towns, sprawling landscapes, and majestic the kill sides of the island. But choose your location wisely because once your feet hit the ground, it's game on. Without hesitation, you're off to the races, scavenging for any weapon you can get your grimy little fingers on. From there, it's hunt or be hunted, last one standing wins, a victory royale. And that's where the true thrill and rage comes from. Spending 20 minutes expertly crafting movements from location to location like a goddamn Navy SEAL only to get shot in the head, and then boom! You're back in the lobby, ready to jump out of that bus once again. It's exhilarating and frustrating, but that's the addictive appeal. We're programmed to seek out the micro hits of dopamine and Fortnite just so happens to be our colorful, lovable dealer. What's even crazier is that this game is free. I know we live in a world of microtransactions, but Fortnite is anything but pay to win. And this free game is estimated to make $2 billion in 2018 alone. Considering all the money there is to be made, it's only a matter of time before Hollywood gets its grip on this franchise and turns it into a video game movie. Ugh. But before they inevitably ruin it, like they did with nearly every other video game turned movie before, the countdown is here to run through all the ways to make this movie right. And before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Also hit that little bell so you know whenever we upload. It's super helpful and helps us keep making videos. Thanks. Number five, the plot. As most of you are probably aware, the mechanics of Fortnite and Player Unknown's Battlegrounds actually come from the 2000 Japanese cult movie hit named, you guessed it, Battle Royale. In this insane movie, 42 ninth graders are sent to a deserted island where they're given a map, food, and, you know, deadly weapons, of course. Also, they're fitted with an explosive collar that explodes if they break a rule. How fun? And you heard me right. Ninth grader. Like I said, a batshit crazy insane premise that's now nearly 20 years later being capitalized on. What made Battle Royale amazing was the simplicity of its premise. The movie was unapologetically itself, and the Fortnite movie should be just the same. Hollywood is obsessed with jam-packing these video games turned movies with irrelevant characters and story moments, and they love to take the term loosely based on a little too, well, loosely. I'm looking at you, Doom. So if Fortnite is going to become a movie, it needs to capture the essence of the game. And as you all know, this game is all about the hunt and survival. That, and of course, a little absurdity. Imagine, the film begins and you're sitting there with 99 other strangers on this weird little blue bus. Out of the window, all you see is the vast openness of the sky and the vague mirage of this massive island below. Then boom, one finally jumps, then another, then another, and more and more and more until the bus is completely emptied. Then we follow the final four jumpers as they parachute to the battlefield. These are our lovable squad of misfit protagonists that we'll follow for the rest of the film. We'll be there with them from the moment they land up until the inevitable moment when the final member of the squad defeats the final member of the rival squad to be. Oops, spoilers. You know it, the coveted last man or woman standing. And the entire film should be a non-stop action fight fest that you'd expect from a Fortnite movie. Following the squad as they travel town to town in search of weapons and cover. Number four, the setting. What makes Fortnite the game even better is that it's constantly evolving. Each season, the game makers toss things up with a brand new theme. Within each theme, there are new skins, weapons, items, modes, and best of all, map changes. This is what keeps Fortnite exciting, like this insane Viking outpost or the massive city of Paradise Palms. The map is never dull and will always have new thematic biomes being added each season. And what's especially great about the map is that while enormous, every area is accessible yet wholly unique. You'll be in the desert one minute, then running towards a lush golf course the next. Sounds like Vegas. So, how does that translate to a film? I'll tell you. When it comes to action movies, it's all about location, 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 and cocaine. But mostly, it's these amazing set pieces that keep things moving. 
Fast and the Furious, Mission Impossible, all these action franchises rely on are dazzling structures and complex landscapes that they can throw their characters into. So for a minute, let's just suspend our disbelief when it comes to Mother Nature and just say that this strange island that they've landed, you know, has weird weather patterns and biome. Maybe it's an alien planet or it's the future and Donald Trump was actually wrong about climate change. The Fortnite movie could have characters venturing from abandoned towns to deserts to forests and lakes all in real time. It would be insane. Number three, building. Okay, you've probably been asking yourself, why isn't he talking about one of the most crucial aspects of the game? Well, here I am, and although I admittedly still haven't figured out how to become the building master in Fortnite, I've seen some people become, I mean, look at these guys. They're freaking crazy, like Bob the Builder on Adderall. Regardless, building will no doubt have to be a part of the Fortnite movie. I mean, it's what makes Fortnite Fortnite and not just some other battle royale game. And while the idea of real-time, on-the-spot building may seem far-fetched, hear me out for a second. First, think about drones. They're everywhere now, easily accessible for the masses, simple to fly. Hell, you can even set some drones on autofollow where they just follow you. While that is kind of terrifying, it's also kind of amazing and would serve this movie well when it comes to the plausibility of building because, stay with me here, what if attached to these drones were 3D printers? Okay, I may have lost some of you, but think about it. The movie could be set in the near future and considering 3D printers already have the ability to print an entire house, it's actually kind of plausible, sort of. So, take a 3D printer, a drone, and a sprinkle of sci-fi magic, put it together and you could easily have an insane way for the characters in the Fortnite movie to make absolutely massive buildings. Seriously, imagine the insane Michael Bay-esque building battles that we could watch on the big screen. It'd be awesome! Number 2. Casting. Then, of course, we gotta cast the Fortnite movie. We all know that this is a make or break step of not only video games turned movies, but just movies in general. A bad actor can kill a great film. I mean, don't get me wrong, there have been great casting choices for video game movies before, like early 2000s Angelina Jolie as Laura Croft, although I can't say the same for the actual movie, but there have also been quite a few more bad ones. I know you've tried to forget, but we're here to remind you of choices like Jake Gyllenhaal in Prince of Persia, as a Persian prince. And don't forget, this isn't the PUBG movie, so if you want some hardcore testosterone driven movie, the Fortnite flick should definitely not be that. The thing I love about Fortnite characters is the ragtag group of dysfunctional misfits nature of them. You have a host of buff and scrawny men and women ranging from football players to disco dancers. The essence of this game has always been frenetic and fun and that's why so many people love it. So when casting this crew of crazies, we have options to say the very least. While everyone would probably love to cast their own Fortnite movie and we're definitely wrong, here are some of my picks. For the good guys, I could easily see John Cena in this film, especially given his comedic chops. And I'd love to give Alicia Vikander another shot after the not-so-great Tomb Raider release in 2018. It would be great to see any major movie stars elevated to a whole new level. The Rock, Charlize Theron, Jason Statham, Keanu Reeves, Carl Urban, Will Smith, Mila Jovovich, Tom Hardy, even Meryl Streep. Well, just kidding, maybe not Meryl Streep. And because comedy would definitely be a huge part of this film, we'd love some comedic relief from the likes of Crazy Rich Asians Aquafina, or some hilarious moments of sheer panic from someone like Zach Galifianakis or Michael Cera. And when it comes to villains, man, Joaquin Phoenix, Mads Mikkelsen, Willem Dafoe, hell, maybe even Liam Neeson could be cast against type to be the ultimate bad guy. And if I was a casting director, the emotes would totally be a requirement during the audition process. Because let's be honest, it wouldn't be a Fortnite movie without them. Number one, weapons and gear. Last and probably the most badass part of the film will arguably be the weapons and gear. While most war movies usually only have a small selection of weapons the soldiers can choose from, damn you historical accuracy. This movie could include the largest range of weapons in any movie ever. In Fortnite, you have suppressed assault rifles, thermal scoped assault rifles, heavy assault rifles, burst assault rifles, regular assault rifles, mini guns, light machine guns, SMGs, compact SMGs, hand cannon, pistols, six shooters, shotgun, double barrel shotguns, heavy shotguns, tactical shotguns, heavy sniper rifles, bolt action sniper rifles, hunting sniper rifles, rifles, rifles semi-auto rifles, rocket launchers, grenade launchers, and the quad launcher. Woo! Wow, okay, you get it. The list goes on and on and on. But imagine, not only will the film's characters be stumbling upon this massive variance of weapons, but each one will have a completely unique weapon that's true to them. Aw, how special. 
The tiny little woman can have her giant rocket launcher and the big buff macho man can hold his small but deadly six shooter. The idea that our characters will have to scavenge and find their own, upgrading as the film progresses. Then, of course, you have the gear, the grenades, traps, and utility items. Imagine, real life versions of Fortnite's clinger? I mean, it's a plunger retrofitted with a goddamn grenade. Oh man, and that sweet moment when our hero squad stumbles upon some slurp juice in the nick of time? Or you know, a bag of mushrooms, when they want to get weird. Also, not to mention having your badass crew drive around in an ATK or a quad crasher. And don't forget the shopping carts. Seriously, this Fortnite movie has so much potential for epic badass moments on the big screen. So there it is, the Countdown's Fortnite movie. Now go, Hollywood! Milk this cash cow for all it's worth! Thanks for watching our Cave Cloud. If you like what you saw, please be sure to share this video, subscribe to our channel, and if you have any ideas yourself on this Fortnite movie, leave them in the comments below.